Welcome to the Weeb Lounge, I'm Nick, and this is one of my more favorite comedy anime. What happens when a girl from heaven, an angel, just gets out of angel school, comes down to earth and has to live here for a little while to study humans and stuff? What becomes of this glorious angel? Well, she gets addicted to online games, becomes a slob, and doesn't care anymore. <laughs> Hence, Gabriel Dropout, the main character Gabriel, she just basically drops out, lives life in a video game, and that's pretty much what she cares about. Now there's a little bit more to it than just that. Basically, Gabriel, or Gab, she top of her class at angel school. She's going to come down to earth. She's going to do so much good. She's going to make people happy and be a member of society and really learn about the human race and all this happy-go-lucky stuff. She comes down to earth and not 24 hours later, she's addicted to an MMO, spending real money, her stipend from heaven, on a healing wand in a game and basically just is like, eh, people are trash, uh, I'm living in my room, is squalor all over the place and trash. And it, it, it took 24 hours to corrupt an angel. Now, in a way, this is kind of realistic. I mean, you think about it, just think about it really hard. It's kind of realistic. Yeah, <laughs> so within like 24 hours, she is corrupted all to hell. Her halo starts to turn this like dark, misty, evil almost thing, like, you know, fallen angel type thing. Kind of hence Gabriel drop out, you know, dropping out. But the first episode is what really made me fall in love with this anime and, and the character a bit too, because, you know, they had these angelic powers, right? And one of the funniest moments of any comedy anime that I can remember is right there in the first episode, okay? She can, gets convinced and, well, manipulated to get go back to school. And when she does, she walks outside and is like, oh, it's hot out. I'm, I'm just going to teleport to the classroom, okay? So she goes to teleport to the classroom and it doesn't quite work. But one thing does make it to the classroom. One thing does make it to her seat, shining high above, falling down slowly on her seat. And what is that? Her panties. She transported holy panties floating <laughs> above her seat at school. Nothing else. <laughs> it's one of the greatest, funniest things I've ever seen in a comedy. Okay, well... Episode one got me hooked. Let's get on to some of the other characters. You have Vinette. Vignette, Vinette, I can't remember. It's Vine. Vine. She is it from the devil side. And, you know, she's like dark haired, haired, slender girl. And she's like got her head on straight, okay? She's actually a good person. Now, now I guess before I get into that, I should say like angels from heaven and demons from hell, when they come to earth, they kind of have the same purpose but opposite. Angels are supposed to do good. Demons are supposed to do bad, and they get a stipend from whichever side you're on, you know, a government paycheck, basically. And this paycheck depends on how much good you do if you're an angel or how much bad you do if you're a demon. So if you're really bad as a demon, you get big money. If you're really good as an angel, you get big money. Money motivates the world and heaven and hell, apparently. Yeah, too bad these characters are all pretty much bad at their job. Vina, she might be a demon, but she's a really, really good person. She, you know, keeps things organized, helps people out, cleans up after herself, you know. It, it's something, she makes a better angel than she would a demon. And that's kind of goes along with everything. I mean, Gabriel is an angel, but she would actually more qualify as a demon once she got addicted to the video games, really. Her character shifts around a little bit. Hers is a little bit more gray. But then you bring in Satania. Out of the whole series, Satania is probably the one that became everyone's fan favorite. Why? Busty demon girl who tries to be evil but really doesn't end up doing much harm, if any, at all. Pretty eccentric, comedic, probably the most entertaining character in the whole series. So she ends up becoming the most popular. It doesn't help that she's, you know, a little busty, too. I mean... It's anime, you know, kind of figure. Gabriel, whoop, 
she's not too happy about that. But anyway, Satania, she's always trying to be evil, come up with these dastardly deeds, you know, load a squirt gun, you know, like load a squirt gun but pee or something. You know, this is, it's all childish. She thinks it's the greatest, evilest thing ever concocted. But in reality, it's just like a minor annoyance if she can pull it off right, which most of the time she doesn't. And plus, they kind of develop her character a little bit more to the side. Uh, Satania likes melon bread. And for whatever reason, this dog, this happy little cute looking dog, always attacks her, steals her melon bread, and runs off. And it becomes like a feud between Satania and the dog. Whole show, whole anime. Feud between devil and canine. All right, whatever. It's a kind of a running gag, but it's it, it's pretty good. But then you have Raphael, okay? Raph, Raphael. She is a long-haired, big, busty girl from the Angel class, same class as Gab, and she's uh, sadistic as all hell. She graduated, like, way up there along with Gab, like, ranked two or three or you know, something right up there. Gab was one. Okay, this is, this is, you know, right below. She's evil. She would make an awesome demon. She, she knows how to manipulate the hell out of people. She knows how to cause trouble in the background without exposing herself, you know, causing trouble without anybody knowing it was her causing the trouble. Like, you know, and she uses Satania as kind of like a plaything. Yeah, they kind of end up becoming friends, but Raphael is basically bullying Satania without Satania really realizing because, okay, well, we have to admit, Satania is kind of dumb. She, she, she's dumb. Or lacks common sense. She's dumb and lacks common sense. I, there's, no, there's no question about this. But Raphael, she toys with Satania so much, and, you know, along with the dog and the melon bread and all these stupid little things... It's, it's just constant manipulation. And she always pokes Satania as like, oh, that's a good idea. You should try to, you should do that to be more evil. That's, that's a good idea, you know. Maybe you should do this. Maybe you should do that. And Raphael starts just engineering Satania's failure all the time. I guess since she's kind of thwarting a demon, it would raise her stipend from heaven, maybe. I don't know if it works like that, but if that does work, Raph is going to be rich just off Satania. Period. <laughs> uh, the only other character to really bring in is uh, Tapu, Tap, uh, Tapris. You know, everybody's got kind of like a weird nickname, except for like, well, Satania is a nickname for Satania. So I don't know what it is. It's Satania. I don't care. But Tapri, she, she's kind of like one of those people who's more of a fan of Gab, right? She, she's, she's from the same class, I think. She's kind of like just you know, latched on to Gab. Thinks Gab is like the best person in the world, thinks she can do no wrong, and there's kind of a little bit of Yuri-ish thrown in there. She's she's basically a fangirl. I mean, there, there's really, you know, she's good at heart, she's good at her job and everything, she's really smart, but she's no common sense. If Satania has very little common sense, Tap, she has zero, okay? She's smart as hell, but doesn't know how the real world works <laughs> at all. So this anime overall, you know, I'm really hoping for a season two. I mean, season one was all good. You know, there's a part where uh, Gav's sister comes back and she, you know, she has to kind of clean up her image and stuff. And there's a time where, you know, all the angels and all the demons, they have to go back to hell and heaven, you know, equivalent. And, you know, they're all just kind of talking and bantering each other. And at some point, it, it's almost like going down and going either down the escalator or up the escalator. It's it's all kind of the same thing, really. It's just one's a little dark and one's a little too bright, you know? It's whatever. They, they, they treat it as if... It's like they're on tours. Like, like they have, have need a visa to visit Earth, you know? Like a work visa. It's a work... That's what it is. The angels and demons need work visas to come to Earth and mess with people. That's what it is. It's a visa program. Yep. Just thought of that. <sighs> Anyways, it's a great series. It is hilarious. The first episode you have to watch, just for the little thing I mentioned earlier, if it doesn't have you rolling, if it doesn't have you hooked after the first episode, you, you go watch 
something else. Go watch Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood or something. I, you, you know, if you're not hooked by the first episode, you don't belong in the anime thing. Yeah. Satania for the win. Gab for the win. I actually like Vine. You know, kind of a lesser character, but I like Vine. You know, I don't know. Satania, Vina, they're, they're all great characters. And I can't keep going or else I'll just keep ranting. Like, subscribe, hit that notification button. More videos to come. We'll see you then.